Hey guys, just wanted to stop by. I'm out here staring down a bomb storm system that's supposed to drop a whole lot of snow. I couldn't think of a better way to go out and break in some uh, base layer and see how they work. But first off, I wanted to do a quick video about the jacket that I'm wearing and my favorite jacket that I found. Um, first and foremost, you might notice the t-shirt. Close personal friend of mine are starting up their own apparel uh, company. They sent me this, guys. I appreciate it. Um, give them a check out on Facebook. They have this one design available. They'll be coming up with some awesome, awesome designs real soon. I know they are. So keep them in the loop. Keep an eye on them. See where they go. I know it's going to be straight to the statosphere. All right. Well, you know, when I... When I first started looking at my first serious piece of gear, and there's going to be some arguments about this, but the first serious piece of gear that we look at is not a helmet. When you're going to look for a helmet, you're going to look for your face on the road. Um, so when I went to look for a helmet, it wasn't about safety. Believe me, anybody that starts riding a motorcycle with a pudding bowl helmet is not looking for safety. But when you when you get your when you start looking at jackets, you're looking for not only something that's going to guard against you from the elements, but also from accidents. So you're trying to find the best of all worlds. It took me a while and I've gone through a, a number of different uh, jackets. I still have a number of jackets in my closet. I have a lot of uh, ones that I wear in specific times uh, for, for you know, uh, rallies, rides, stuff like that. But if there's one thing that I look for, it's that all around, I, I'm trying to find the all around jacket. So what I want you to do is, here, help me out here. When you go and you're looking at jackets, whether it's online or at a store, when you are thinking about going out to pur purchase a jacket, what is the one thing you're thinking of? One, one thing, maybe even three things. What are the things that are you, you are looking for when you are going jacket shopping? Go ahead down in the comments and let me know what you think. Me, as an individual, I'm looking at something that's utilitarian. Like I said, I do have my crazy jackets that I wear once in a while that just got great designs on them and stuff like that. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, but if I'm looking for a jacket that I'm going to go on a long ride with and it's going to fill a lot of notches, it's the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Joe Rocket Atomic 5.0 jacket. Okay. This thing is waterproof treated shell it has external armor uh, removable spine armor with an upgrade pocket for the spine ventilated stick zippers are all water resistant waterproof as is the liner here the zipper here cool part about this jacket so if I can get my hands to stop shaking, it's been a little bit cold out here. 37 degrees. Can you believe it? <laughs> Beautiful time to ride. But it's got a wonderful system here where you can take these and snap them like that so that it holds these vents open. You have the vents in the back that you open up, and this is just a big air inlet. Um has a six point adjustment system, which allows you to cater to what you want it to. And it also comes with belt loops. Now, Joe Rocket is not usually going to be what most people think about when they think of their, their riding jacket. And I think that's probably a good thing. This is definitely a sleeper jacket. Um, I got this before I was going to take an 18 hour ride. Um, and inadvertently rode through a uh, a tropical storm while doing it. 
and I was shocked. So, I mean, you might as well have just gone swimming and, and tried to try the jacket out that way. I probably believe it would have been the same of, same outcome. But the jacket handled very, very well. Um, like I said earlier, it has the external pockets. And the thing that I like about this is usually motorcycle jackets will cut very, very uh, large in the arm. And that's because if they do have armor under there, it's going to be right up against your arm. They need to get that spot somewhere. I like this because not only is it quick to access by having it right there, but also the jacket fits my arm more natural. It doesn't have a bump right here so that I need to, you know, get a little bit uncomfortable. That and the fact that this armor just fits right just stays where it's supposed to it's not cumbersome at all and it's probably the most comfortable way of having an armor uh an armor jacket in my honesty um of course it's not crazy it doesn't have spikes up along it or anything like that it doesn't need to get that flashy but having the external armor does give it a little bit more of a of an aggressive look to it it has um uh, reflective material so that you're able to be seen when the light's low very very good thing as well but the one selling point that sets this jacket apart from anything else absolutely anything else especially in its price point you can get this jacket for sub two hundred dollars new that's shocking i would I hope that Joe Rocket is not listening, but I would probably be willing to pay twice as much for what this jacket offers. But the sneaky thing that they threw in that just blows it all away is a full-sleeved zip-in liner. Um, just absolutely amazing to think that when you're out there riding, you don't need to carry um, a lot of gear because it's cold. You don't need to carry a wet weather sat that has your wet weather gear in it because the jacket's wet weather. It's amazing. This thing is just great. I've rode it through storms without worrying about it. If I'm going to go for a ride and I'm going to go down the road and not know, you know, maybe, maybe go down for a long weekend or something, not know. Rain's going to happen. It happens everywhere. This is the jacket you're going to see me wear because this is the most versatile and the most utilitarian jacket that I could find. And I'm not, not in the smallest detail upset with a purchase at all. So Joe Rocket, if you are listening, don't, don't listen to what I said before about willing to pay twice as much, but definitely listen to me now. This is a great jacket. People would love to put down Joe Rocket because it doesn't say Sidici, Sidici, or maybe it doesn't say uh, A-Stars on it or Dynasty or something like that. And that's probably very true. I'm not saying that, that um, you know, those jackets aren't great in their own right. However, I think for an everyday, get down on it, go down the road, whatever happens, happens, minimalist, um carrying in your saddlebag because even if it's warm that's all you're carrying so you know i've ridden with this jacket up to 80 degrees comfortably and um i've gone down to let's see well it's 37 degrees right now um so really it's it's a very very versatile jacket and when you combine it with other things that that your riding gear is it's going to definitely take everything up a notch so the joe rocket and atomic 5.0 jacket you definitely get my thumbs up um and i appreciate the fact that i found this that i was able to research it and uh came across it because there is nothing like it and i love this jacket so now hopefully if you're out there looking for a jacket you have a little bit more information and you might even come across this and uh, think that eh, 160 bucks what's the problem let's give it a shot i'm going to tell you 
I've burnt $160 on some stupid, stupid things on motorcycles and in motorcycle gear. This is not one of them. Thank you very much for stopping in. I want to thank my sponsor, Tobacology.com. Again, please check out War Horse Motorcycles up on Facebook. Those guys are awesome. You all are doing a great job. I appreciate you stopping in. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the road.